A family in Cedarburg extended their home to hundreds of guests. Christina Vanzels joins us live with how this family is giving back to the community in a really unique way, Christina. It is definitely unique, you guys. This is Barefoot Acres, and it is home to more than 350 animals. And they do have quite a variety of animals here. A lot of them are eating what looks like dinner right now. But the owner owners say that this was never part of their original plan. <laughs> At this Cedarburg home, oh, Stacy, manners are not required to stay. Nor do you have to stay. <laughs> It's called Barefoot Acres, <laughs> opening last August as a duck rescue. We went to Tractor Supply and they had ducks. Elizabeth Thalen says she started with six ducks. That number quickly multiplied. I made a page on Facebook and somehow I got over 150 ducks just dropped off. Now she has more than 300 animals, from goats to birds. <laughs> It's a full house. Thalen says once her animal shelter started to grow, she and her mom applied for a Wisconsin Livestock Premises registration, an employer identification number, and filed to be a nonprofit organization. Oh my goodness. Elizabeth says most of the animals came from people who couldn't care for them anymore, whether they are disabled or became too much money. The shelter has taken in animals from out of state too, like Illinois and Minnesota. Everybody loves animals, whether they can take care of them or not. The family says they do it for the love of animals, but can't take in any more animals at this time because it's costly. They aren't making a profit, and Elizabeth says it costs nearly $4,000 a month to care for them. They're very calming, and it's kind of like a therapy for yourself. The animal rescuers are waiting for their nonprofit certification. In the meantime, they'll maintain this haven where their kindness starts at home. As baby. We did reach out to the state about inspections here, and they say under the circumstances and on the registration license, they are not subject to any, any inspections at this place. Reporting live in Cedarburg, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. It's a lot of mouths to feed. Do they get help from donations to help feed all those animals? Yeah, one thing they said is when people bring the animals here, they do bring food with them and donations in that regard. But they also do have an, a GoFundMe that they just started because winter is coming, and they say that can be tough. So if you want to donate, there is a link on our website. Just head to fox6now.com. Clearly, they've got a very big heart. Hopefully, they get some help with that operation. All right, Christina, thanks.